Since 1850, the consumption of these fossil fuels has increased a hundredfold. Add to this the more recent burning of the tropical forests, and the result has been a marked and accelerating increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But has this started to make the Earth warmer? Weather is hard to predict, but records of its past behavior go back a long way. Fertile ground for the revealing eye of the computer. This warming gradually spread to the rest of the Arctic by the 1930s and into the 1940s. And by 1941, the warming has spread across the Arctic and extensively covered most of North America. Region by region analysis of world temperature records shows a small but significant warming trend over the century with a marked increase in the 1980s. It's beginning to spread down to the tropics as well. Yes, it's not just over land areas, it's over ocean areas in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Reduced to global averages, it shows a rise of just half a degree Celsius. This could be due to some natural climatic change but it does accord with computer models based on the known atmospheric processes and predicted buildup of the greenhouse gases. These models contain many uncertainties, but they forecast that by 2050, global mean temperature could have increased by at least a degree and a half, possibly near a four. Snow melt there. This may not sound much, but what the computer modelers are looking at is the possibility of change at a rate faster than at any time since the end of the Ice Age. I think particularly over the ocean here, over the North Pacific... Change too fast, perhaps, for life to adapt without severe dislocation. These uh, mid-latitude regions in the Southern Hemisphere... What they foresee is not a steady and even warming overall, but alterations to the familiar patterns of climate and the increasing frequency of abnormal weather. No two scenarios fully agree. But their strange, mesmerizing images of possible futures have each prompted the same serious warning. A warning endorsed by a uniquely broad consensus of scientists in their report to the United Nations at the end of 1990. 